Hi, I don't know how many times someone could have asked you which is your favorite chimps, but every time I hear that question I have no doubt. You know, let's leave alone humans just for a moment, because they are awesome anyway, but bonobo chimps are just the creme. They are hippiest than the Beatles, and made of the state make love not war the philosophy of life. Quoting the primatologist Robert Sapolsky, they make love every time. They make love when they're happy, when they're angry. Uh, and you know, if a bonobo unintentionally step on toes uh, of another bonobo, you know, they will argue. Um, but then they will have sex uh, to make peace. They will make peace and make love because they are happy to be friends again. So they're just awesome. Um, they, they, are ju <laughs> they are just awesome. Um, they, 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 their society is matriarchal, that means that females gain the power. I could not wait, I, I had to do this video. We will talk about the evolution of the bonobo chimps in the last 2 million years, in particular we will talk about how the evolution has given us this beautiful chimp, and why his nearest cousin, the chimpanzee, is almost the complete opposite. So, all the story starts 2 million years ago in Africa. Approximately 4 million years separate human and chimps living in Africa in this time. They are living together here, human and a lineage of chimps. In this image, of course, it's not, picture, in not, it's not pictured, uh, this lineage of chimps, because we have no realistic um, image, no realistic ideas of his look. We have just some reconstruction from fossils. This image is just to give the gist that, you know, there were a lot of chimps here. In this time, an event occur occurs that will be the beginning of all the story we are talking about. The formation of the Congo River. You can say, there are a lot of rivers who give a damn about a river in the middle of the Africa. And you know, chimps that live in the middle of the Africa. So, especially if, if this river cuts the Africa in the way that the south of the river gets all the gourmet food and bananas and nuts and stuff, you know, chimps food and the north get basically dust in the chimps point of view and we must add something, we humans are the best swimmer in the primate branch of the evolution in other words, a chimp of the north could not swim the Congo river to go to the south and eat all the gourmet food this is the beginning of the story because in this moment we have segregated the population into groups a north groups and a south groups they will not breed with each other because they can swim and they will live a completely different they will live a completely different environment it means that evolutionary pressure upon the two groups are different is different the south chimps didn't need to fight for food, and I mean, it's a little controversial, but it's the chimps' word. In consequence, they didn't need to fight for female too. There was food for everyone, for child of everyone, and there was no need of a strict geriarchical organization, because there was no need for territory wars or administration. This environment shaped the gene of the South chimps. They become small, relatively weak, and with a, a neurophysiological attitude to make love and be happy. Obviously, there was some cultural evolution too. I, I think it's clear now. The, the South Chimps became in two million years what now we recognize as Bonobo Chimps. The North Chimps, instead, their genes were feeling the effect of the environment too. They became bigger, stronger, their teeth were sharper and sharper. They needed a hierarchical organization to patrol the territory and uh, administrate the food and reproduction. The male became more aggressive and developed a physiological response to the position in the hierarchy, in the way that their physiological attitude is to be the alpha of the group, or they will be stressed. The North Chimp became what today we call chimpanzees. These badass chimps that scares us as the point that we have made three or four films about them and the way they will eventually kill us. So, primates are wonderful and I like to recall that we are one of them. So, 
As always, I ask you to let me know what do you think about the topic we have discussed. And let me know what do you think of humans. Do you think they are more bonobos? Or more chimpanzees? Are we living on the north or the south? How do you think our environment has shaped the way we are as humans? And thanks for watching. See you later.